everyone. Thanks for watching my video. I have a Chinese vase that I recently acquired from an auction house. Uh, from what I believe, it, it's from the Yuan Dynasty in the 1300s. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but um, I believe it to be from the Emperor Huizong period. Uh, so the 1300s. Uh, the moment I saw this, I thought it was very intriguing. So um, I'll show you a few few shots of the the vase itself, and perhaps someone who has a better understanding can tell me if it is uh, genuine or not. Uh, what I found intriguing was the markings at the bottom here. Um, from what I've learnt, they normally didn't come with any markings from that period. So, uh, obviously, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's been added. But uh, I believe it to be a, um, a common practice uh, for... Uh, for this to be the markings to be added just to acknowledge uh, their predecessors or their ancestors um, just out of respect so um, or whatever you want to call it but um so that that's one thing that confuses me about this vase but um the condition otherwise uh, there is some cracking uh, which suggests that only comes with age. So, it's a lovely piece. And um, I paid $100 for it. So, um, and I'm uh, based in Sydney. If anyone has any idea whether this is genuine or not, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I just found it astonishing um, the moment I saw it. And I thought, yeah, uh, I did some research on those markings and... Um, it just baffled me. I thought to myself, all right, I'm going to take a bit of a gamble and um, purchase it. And for $100, that, to me, that's a bit of a steal. I mean, the condition suggests it's very old. There are some cracking. Sorry about the, the images. But this is the best I can do. So ultimately, yeah, the markings on the bottom confuses me the most. Um, I just don't understand. I just don't understand if, it, yeah, if those markings were originally... Uh, placed uh, like about 800 years ago uh, or in the last few centuries it's been added or it's a it's a fake it's a good fake so I just don't know um, so it's about I'd say it's about 30 centimeters in height uh, lovely handles here I think this is a bit of clay I don't know I don't know why it looks like that, but it is what it is, and I have no intention of cleaning it. Here's another close-up of the markings. It 
So from my understanding is that's that says the great Yuan and I think that says uh, that tell, tells me who um, the emperor was. I'm not too sure. Hui Zong or otherwise known as Toghan Temor. And obviously I think that's a period. I don't know what this one is. That's that's the one it, it gives. That's the one that stumps me. That one there. Uh, so if you could help me and let me know what that is. And obviously that's the yeah, that's the year or period. But what I don't understand is why this is at the bottom. Uh, from what I've seen on uh, on the internet, I always thought this marking here or well, this symbol was always up there. Um in that position right there, so uh, so the period I believe it to be is like uh, the the Zi Yuan or the Zi Zeng period, from what I've learnt with the markings, this and that. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's this one and that one. So there you have it. Um, so if you can help me out. And share me your thoughts if anyone knows exactly um, what it is or its value or uh, a bit more of an insight on this vase. That would be greatly appreciated. There you have it. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.